Hey, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a brief overview and an understanding of what a Divi Child theme is. This is part three of my beginner's tutorial series. And up to this point, we talked about how to install and set up WordPress. The last video, we went over an overview of WordPress and you found out that my theme of choice for WordPress is the Divi theme by Elegant Themes. Now, if you're like me, if you're just getting into it, you probably see this thing called a child theme and you're wondering what the heck is that? I totally understand because when I got into Divi, I was very confused as well. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to set one up. I didn't quite know why you needed one. So that's what we're gonna cover in this video. And I've also made this a free download for you. So I've made a free basic Divi child theme download that you can install on your site. You'll find out how and why you need to install that. And that way you're gonna be good to go to start building awesome websites with WordPress and Divi. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, guys and gals. So as I mentioned, when you get going with WordPress and Divi, you're going to see this term child theme or Divi child theme thrown out all over the place, particularly if you join any of the Divi Facebook groups that I recommend. You're going to see this term all the time. So it's really important to know what it is and more importantly, why you need to use it or why you should use it on your sites. So this video is again, just gonna be a basic 101 understanding. I did wanna make reference though to some other articles that I highly recommend that you have if you wanna look at this in more detail because if you Google Divi Child Theme, you're gonna see a bazillion results. It can be very overwhelming. Hopefully you'll see this video here sooner or later. But I did wanna make point of a few that I highly recommend. Number one is the Ultimate Divi Child Theme Guide. This is by my buddy Tim Streifler at Divi Life. And he goes into the weeds with Divi Child Themes. It basically answers any question you're gonna have in a lot more detail. Now, this is a very extensive guide and post and the video is very long. So I just, I wanted to do more of a condensed version for those of you who just wanna get a basic one-on-one understanding and get going. But this is one I would highly recommend bookmarking. So this will be linked below. Another one is the Child Theme Builder by my friends over at Divi Space. You can actually build a very in-depth child theme for your agency. Now, you're not actually gonna need this because again, I have a free download for you where you can download a basic Divi child theme that I have set up for you. But there are some pros to this if you want to have a more advanced style child theme. So this is a good reference to have. And then since Divi is created by Elegant Themes, I also wanted to include another really good guide as far as what a Divi child theme is that's based off of the folks from Elegant Themes. So this has a lot of good information as well. Those are the three main resources I would recommend checking out if you want to take things to a, a further detailed understanding. Now, to answer your question, what the heck is a Divi child theme? Let's stay on this page because this is a really good graphic that kind of um, explains what it is visually. A Divi child theme is essentially a layer on top of the main Divi theme that all of your custom code can go in. And when you update Divi, it won't overwrite any of the custom code. So for example, years ago when I got started with Divi, as I mentioned, I had no concept or idea of what a child theme was. And I was doing a bunch of custom coding in CSS and I was putting it all in the style sheet for the main Divi theme. And then once we launched this site, I was working, I was subcontracting for a local company. Once we launched the site, about a week later, they did a bunch of updates and I got a call and it was a nightmare situation where they updated the site and all of my custom code was overwritten because they upload, they updated Divi and I didn't put a child theme on and I didn't understand it. So all my code was overwritten. It blew up the site. It was a nightmare. So essentially a child theme is where you can put all of your custom code and it's not, again, it's not gonna overwrite when you up, update Divi. Now, generally, you're never gonna update a child theme either unless you have a different version of a child theme, but all of your code will go in there. It could include code for CSS files, PHP files, like my site, for example, here at joshhall.co, I have some really advanced things going on that are into the PHP and some really scary stuff. Primarily though, I use it for CSS because CSS is what I recommend when customizing sites. And side note, I do have a full course on Divi and CSS. It's super, super important to know how to customize your sites with CSS. Even though Divi gives us a lot of options to where we can do things visually, still need to know CSS, particularly when you're merging other plugins and tools in the mix. So check that out. There's a discount code below if you'd like to join that. But again, I use child themes primarily to put custom CSS in there and that way we can update Divi and it doesn't affect the code. Now with that in mind, 
there are actually different degrees and levels of child themes. As Tim explains in here in more detail, there are basic, let's, what's called like bare bone child themes, and that's what I've got as a download for you. But there are really advanced ones too that have multiple files and layers of files with custom code. But I'm gonna show you just the basic stripped down 101 version. So let's go back into our site here. As you saw in the previous two tutorials for this series, we've got WordPress installed, we've got Divi installed, and let's go ahead and upload this child theme. Now, when you download this, uh, side note, for my site, I have it set up to where all you have to do is sign up for a free account on my site. The reason I do that is because I want you to be able to download any freebies for free, and all you have to do is log in. I, I don't like to have people keep on re-inputting their email to sign up for free resources. So just log in to my account, you can just uh, register. And then you'll see a download button right here to where you can download this. And this is going to include this zip file. Now let's go ahead and open this up, take a look. This is going to include everything in this basic Divi child theme, which just has three files. Well, I'll explain what these are, but there's a functions PHP. There is a screenshot of what the child theme is gonna look like in the theme area. And then there's a file for your CSS where you can put all of your custom CSS. So with that in mind, let's dive back in and install this bad boy. So let's add a new theme, upload theme, and you wanna choose the zip file that, you don't, wanna ex, you don't wanna extract it first, you wanna choose the zip file. Let's go ahead and import that, install it, and activate it, and now, there we go. The child theme is installed. Now, the website on the outside is not gonna change appearance whatsoever because we haven't actually added any custom code or anything, but it is installed. And let's take a look at the theme details because I'll explain how these files are kind of set up. You'll see that this is called Divi Child Theme version 2.0 by Josh Hall, created by joshhall.co, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's take a look at the Divi Child uh, or the CSS file that we looked at. I'm gonna open this with my preferred text editor, Sublime. And you'll see all the details in the CSS file that are now mimicked here on the site. So you can see Divi Child Theme is right there version 2.0 right there. Everything I have here is gonna show up here on the site. And then any custom CSS or code will just go right under here. And you can start building out all of your CSS. Now, a lot of my designs and my web design agency signs have thousands of lines of custom CSS. So this is why it's super important. Now, if you wanted to change that, I'll actually show you how to do that. You can go into theme editor. And let's say you use this for your site and you're like, you know what? I really wanna brand this to, to my site. Well, you could do that right here. You keep the theme name there. And side note, if you go under appearance and theme editor, any theme that is active in your WordPress install, all the files are gonna show up here. Now you do wanna be very careful because if you mess up any code here and break something and then update it, it could take down your site. And in a, the last video of the series, I'm gonna explain how to access this in a different manner, but you can look at your code here. So for example, let's say your name isn't Josh Hall, but it's uh, Jim Shorts and your website is jimshorts.co. Let's update this, and now let's take a look at our themes. Let's look at the theme details, and there we go. The name changed right there, and everything is changed. Now, this is um, this still says basic child theme by joshhall.co, but you can see it says Jim Shorts right there, and again, anything I would wanna change is gonna change right here. So if it's version 3.0, for example, let's update the file, and go back to our themes, look at the basic child theme. You can see right there, it changes to 3.0. So any details you want to change can be changed in your theme editor. And that's actually why Divi Space created this child theme builder. For those of you who want to do a much more advanced child theme, you can use this theme builder, which is really cool and why I referenced it. But for your sake, you can generally just change things in the theme editor. And then as you saw, the screenshot right here is in that file, folder, that folder, and it's just labeled screenshot and it's a JPEG image. So if you wanted to make this your own, if you have an agency and you wanted to make a child theme that's branded around your agency, all you have to do is create a JPEG that's labeled screenshot and it need, just needs to be 600 by 450 and you can replace it in this folder, zip it up and you can use that as your child theme image. So very, very handy. Now the last thing I wanted to address is this functions.php file. You're probably wondering what the heck is that? That sounds scarier than CSS. So in short, what's happening here is, and the big question is, well, okay, how does the style sheet 
in this child theme, no, to overwrite the, the style.css file in Divi? That's the big question. Very good question. And basically what that functions PHP file is saying is, hey, and you can see it right here, the parent theme, so Divi is a, uh, a, a child theme of Divi, the parent theme. This is saying that the parent style is actually taken from right here, style.css. And I don't wanna get too intricate in, on you because this is a beginner video, but if I reactivate the main Divi theme, if I look at the theme editor, Whoa, that's some scary stuff. Look at all those files. Because again, this is all of the files for Divi. So you can see that there are a ton of style files and all kinds of files here. Now, my reference before where I was custom coding things, I did it in this file. Yeah, what a nightmare. Well, this is basically saying, hey, this child theme is gonna overwrite anything in this file. Now it's not gonna delete any of this. It's just gonna say, if we overwrite something in the child theme file, it's gonna overwrite uh, here in this style.css. Let's go back to the themes, reactivate the child theme. And again, we go into the theme editor, anything, any custom CSS we put in here is gonna overwrite that. And that's basically saying, hey, anything we put in here, that's gonna overwrite the original CSS file. So we know this one takes precedence. And again, we do that through the functions.php file. That's basically what this code is. And I didn't want you to have to write this out on your own, which is why I included this as a free download. Now, one thing I did wanna mention was that there was a previous way to do this. And I mentioned this in a, a couple uh, tutorials in the past in a couple of my courses but there is a way to import a CSS file without actually adding a PHP file, but WordPress prefers this method here. It prefers to know where the style sheet is through a PHP file, but if you happen to see a theme that has this line right here, it's gonna say import, and it's gonna say the URL as far as where that style sheet is, this is an alternative method. It actually still works. I actually have a ton of sites that still have this method, and it works fine but WordPress does prefer this method right here with the functions.php showing where it is. So all that to say, that's basically what a Divi child theme is. It is the place where you wanna put all your custom code. Now, as you'll find out with a lot of other resources with Divi, I know Tim explains it really well in this one, you actually don't need a child theme if you don't plan on doing any custom code, but even if there's a slight bit of custom CSS or any code, you wanna make sure you put it in your child theme style sheet. And I would recommend doing it for every website anyway. And what we're gonna do in the next couple of videos is we're gonna talk about where to actually put that custom CSS and how to link into that style sheet directly. And then you're gonna be good to start building websites with WordPress and Divi. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, be sure to go to my site, download your free basic child theme, install it just like I showed you here install the zip file, you're good to go. And any custom CSS that you start writing, you can put in your child theme style sheet and then you can upload Divi or excuse me, update Divi as much as you want and you'll be in the clear. All right, see you guys on the next video.